Uh, welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you very much uh, for all your questions on what has been quite a day here on ESPN+. Plus. So much action, so many talking points. Such a long day with Craig, but we're almost there. And he hasn't. He hasn't had a breakdown yet. We're all, oh, here we go. We're, it's almost happening. We're, we're all hanging on. Mark calling Austin. Come in, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Mork and Mindy reference. That's what we like to start the show. Everybody got it. What? Oh, Did dear. You know that? Craig. I knew it, but there's a lot of people who won. He's having a go here. Jason Manic mentioned Jim Baxter. There's more chance of Jim Baxter being known than Mark. Jim Baxter was the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> this was in the 80s. Sure. I'm on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's <laughs> the 70s. OK. Oh, uh, yesterday, we, have saw, <laughs> we of course, saw Craig trying on Kieran's jacket. Oh, how did that work out? Tell you what, I did fight him and all. I know. He was I was surprised. I know, I know. He used the famous quote, I can make anything look good. Oh, uh, well, so here's the thing. Yeah. I tried on Kieran's jacket. But Kieran didn't know I was trying his jacket. No, he was. It's just like, he was like that. You woke him up as you were taking it off. You went like that. Oh, sorry. It was... <laughs> did Mrs. Burley like your new jacket? Craig, did you show it to uh, yeah, Mrs. No, Burley? No. No? No idea. No, maybe an idea for your birthday, what? Christmas. <laughs> jacket like that. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, Little yeah. treat. No. Please show up with one of those. Something special. In studio. Oh, that'd be lovely. Oh, I just like small yes. surprises. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> We're going back to the watch part. Uh, do you agree? Henry, Henry and his bodyguard. Do you agree with the end of the replays of the FA Cup next season? Stevie, what do you think? Yes. Oh, you agree? I think so. I think I do, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, the only, th the, only, the only thing that I thought about it initially when I heard was it's a lot of money maybe that some teams will miss out on if they get a replay. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the fact that smaller teams might be in a game and might win it on penalties, they might they only have, have more of a one chance, chance in one game in than one over game two. Than two games. So that's that was the deciding factor. Plus the fact that you saw City, you know, they don't need any more games. I mean. The fact that Chelsea was so bad. But why, I, I suppose, the argument is of why are we catering to Manchester City and not Plymouth Argyle? Well, I don't think you should cater to Man City. You should cater to your best, some of your, some of your best teams and give them an opportunity. Look at, look at, we just sat there at the end of the show and talked about how they've moved Real Madrid's game. Yes. Yeah. I mean, clearly they've no interest in doing that for teams like City. That's because so, TV again, TV money. So maybe if they everything. did that, then maybe maybe we could we could get replays. But no. Stevie, do you think Liverpool can win their final five games under Klopp? Oh, can they? Yes, they can. Are they going to? I I, I don't see how the way they're playing that they're going to win the next five in a trot. I just, I just I don't. I'm sitting watching the game, and I'm wondering when where the mistakes going to come from. And who's going to score? Because in front of goal, nobody looks, nobody looks comfortable. So, I mean, again, these, these are these are two things that you generally don't win the Premier League title. Do can we, can we clarify one thing? Yes, Craig Burley. What would you like to clarify? I'm a bit worried. Right. Has he got his week sorted? Oh yeah. Do you know your schedule this week? Yeah, your week sorted. On... Oh, God, I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you know you went to makeup as well? Oh, did he? <laughs> he went to make up. <laughs> oh, he, he, was, he, did. he was fully in. He was fully in. He went to make up before he came to. Uh... And by the way, the girl who did make up today was the same girl that did it. Right, was it Joyce again? It's, no, it wasn't it Joyce. All right. No, it was the it was the other girl, the blonde girl. Right. So she reminded me of it as well. Everywhere we're walking this building, people are going like, oh, are you here today? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you're in today? <laughs> and everyone spotted you wore the same clothes as well. Well, because oh. I just. Well, I told I told Kay that the other night. When I go in, I guess he's going to is all over you, and he no, slobbers everywhere. You just really want to put on a fresh shirt, ready to come in, fresh new day. Well, well, I'm just putting on stinky well, old I'm shirt. Not sweaty like you. <laughs> so you don't sweat? <laughs> no, I don't sweat. No, I'm no sweat. No reason to sweat. Put it back on. No reason to sweat. I'm no reason. I'm no reason to sweat. Why would I get up in the morning and sweat? I can lie in my bed. It's a lot of effort. A lot of effort. This I don't do anything life. quick enough to make me sweat. Right. <laughs> so, uh, for Ali, percentage chance that Bayern defeat mm. this super confident Real Madrid team now. That's of course the semi-final. How, how do you divvy it up over two legs? 
2080. 20 Bayern Munich, 80%. Really, Annie? Uh, you're, Bundes oh. you're the Bundesliga man. You're supposed Thank to... Thank you, Derek. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Derek, please. <laughs> oh, no, no. In German. In German. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't have it in German. 4060. I'll oh, give you a 4060. Oh, no. Okay, you got okay. <laughs> Peer 90 10 Bayern Munich. Uh, he's, on, he's on the 40 <laughs> show. Peer pressure. Yeah. From, uh, Stevie, if you're a centre back with a Cancelo in your team, do you change the whole way you play? Yeah, how do you cater to someone like that who is such a liability? I don't, I don't honestly think this is a surprise to Xavi or anybody else. Are you telling me that they don't know this guy's fault? So why play him in well, such a big game when he's already made mistakes against PSG? It's, it's a similar thing to Trent Alexander. The, the, you, you weigh the pros and the cons, and what it gives you going forward, you think somebody else can make up for it defensively. But then, when you take that chance, then you see what happens against, against a good team. Uh, final question. Craig, of course, has got very angry at his neighbours over recent mm. days for How having the audacity the dog, to walk yes. the dogs outside of you his know what? By the way, you had me thinking. Because when I take our dog I mean, at that's night, dangerous. Right? we take angers, we go past a house that has a dog oh. that barks, right? Yeah. As I'm walking past last night, I'm thinking, am I on the wrong here? Yeah, well, according to Mr. Burley, <laughs> you're very much I'm in the wrong. I'm on the wrong here. Because take... there's a guy sitting in who's gone, that big tube and that big dog every night go by. Yeah, but you don't, do it, for, you don't do it six times a day. I mean, that's crystal clear. No, just Because <laughs> you're not <laughs> sweating. You're not sweating. sweating. Oh. You don't want to sweat. You can't sweat. Yeah. The yeah. dog sweats. The big fella doesn't move too fast either. No, no, no. no that's but this is constant. You know what I mean? This is constant. Before we get to the question, it's not, it's, it's allowed to do it. Right, I don't know, let's just move on. Okay. So, right. Right. No, go, ahead. go ahead. I would just like to confirm, there's, yeah. there's nothing illegal going on here. <laughs> what? What? But it's that you were saying that people are allowed to walk outside. Is a question? Yeah, house. Yes, it's going to be a question, which I was leading up to. I was just yeah. putting it into context. All right, what's it? Okay. Would you trust Jao Cancelo to defend your garden from neighbourhood dogs? No, he'd tell me. He wouldn't have seen them coming, would he? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> They'd be doing their business behind <laughs> him. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He'd be shouting, he'd be at the window going, hey, get in, Billy. Like, oh, I never saw them. <laughs> I'd do what every other manager does. Joe, find yourself a new garden. There you go, yeah. Move on yeah. to the next garden. That is it.